The Hebrew text in the Bible has hidden formats. By revealing these formats, I will prove the first writer's words were hidden from you. These formats look like poetry as I group them into small paragraphs. Their grouping will become known as a psalm, and together they become psalms. Let me show you our Creator's 12 commandments, listed in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. Any father of a family or his wife who did not obey any one of these 12 commandments, our Creator demanded they bring him a sin offering. Thus, our Creator defined the word sin as not obeying any one of these 12 commandments. Next, I want to show you how I changed one word in Exodus 26, verse 26, the word bars to arches, and the words now reveal the style of the roof for our Creator's tent for meeting with Him. Let me show you the translator's words from the preface of the 1611 King James Bible. They gave four reasons for themselves or others to edit the Bible's words. The red arrow at the top points to their third reason to edit the text. By the light and feeling we attained unto ourselves. The next red arrow down points to them giving the title, The Divine, to a clerk named Gregory. The next block of words, they point out they were happy that the first emperor of Rome established the year to the course of the sun. Behind this text means Nebuchadnezzar ordered his kingdom to follow our creator's calendar when he stopped eating grass. Did you notice the letter S in sun is capitalized? This is to give respect to the Egyptian sun god Ra. Have you seen the Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican's front yard? The last arrow points to your reward for studying the Bible. Your reward is to have a fellowship with the saints and participation of a heavenly nature that will never fade away. There is no such thing as nature to a truthful Christian. Our Creator created everything. By their own words, they were not seeking to know our Creator or Jesus. Not everyone has the knowledge to correct every word. I have an old Bible program that has the New American Standard Bible 1977 concordance to help find a better word. Their concordance has the number of times they use that English word in a parenthesis for that Hebrew word. The translators removed his name, YHVH, to put in two titles, Lord and God. I replaced those titles using the letters Y and V as his name for the Hebrew language does not have a J, O, or W. By using these two letters, I am closer to the truth than anyone using J, O, or W for his name. So why is there a single letter O in the Hebrew text 1,095 times? No proper English was used. The blue highlighted text is text that I am removing. The red highlighted words are little words that I'm adding. Gray italic words are words that I added. To respect and honor our Creator, all capital letters in purple are our Creator's words. This is Jesus' prophecy, for I am revealing the first writer's words to tell you the true truths about Jesus. As the text is revealed, you can read taste the writer's style of wording. Their words will take your belief to trusting our Creator. You will be watching prophecy before your eyes as I added true truths back into their songs. All right, uh, chapter 5 of Daniel. And what I'm doing here is finding the hidden formats, and the, or format that seems to only be one format, and that's a three-verse grouping like this. Let me blow this up a little bit here. And what you're seeing is a statement, and then these two connect together to uh, back that statement up or describe it or however you want to. But that makes a small paragraph and another paragraph, and they connect together, and then it stops, and then this pattern repeats itself again and again and again. So far, and this is notes for myself, is to think about uh, more editing needing to be uh, added into the text. But that's what goes on here. That's what I'm doing here. Now, I start by what I've got described above me here. 
and that is to take the text and try to uh, make sense of it a little bit in the shortest sentences. And what I'm going to do is I'm now going to work on that text so you understand why the editing that I'm uh, choosing to do um, and the reason behind it. Okay, now everything has been Nebuchadnezzar up until now. Now, when I did a study on Nebuchadnezzar's lifetime um, with the numbers as is, uh, he was too old, okay? Most kings didn't live longer than 60 years, 65 years. Now, our creator has allowed the priests or the kings from uh, Israel live a little longer. Some record, have been recorded up to um, 70 years. So what we have here is the, the next king, maybe, okay? Um, but since I'm editor, we don't need all his name here like this. Um, I will make it this in this text. Belzar, okay? Uh, and I'm just going to leave it as the king. Held a... Don't need the extra verbs involved here to know the story. Um, remember, they wrote on uh, hides, and so... If you see this format, they've condensed the knowledge into shortest little paragraphs to describe what they're saying. So they didn't over embellish everything. So I'm removing a lot of that. And the, te and the, and the format will, in these paragraphs will appear as I do this. The king, okay, and I'm going to have to say, well, this is the statement. He held a feast comma, for, now a thousand is too many people, okay, so I will put 100, because a thousand is just too many, in fact, even a hundred is too many, if they're going to fit in the banquet, let's just say 40, okay, anything number is better than or I think 40 is about right uh, for, th for a, for, th for 40, um, they wouldn't have been nobles. That is to say that's how, nobles I would say that that's, um, like sons. So the what I'm seeing here is nobles would mean rich, okay? Richers. Because some can be rich, but these are richers. These are the most rich. Richers. I could put the word wealthy, but I I like the simpleness of the word richers. Okay. Now here, he held a feast. Now he gave orders. That's a statement to bring in the gold and silver, and these are utensils.
and I don't think I've got that spelled right, so let me do a check. Make sure my voice is working okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. You ten. Let me do it like with I here. Let's see if it gets pulls up here. There it did. Okay, it was with an S. And now these are our craters, so I'm going to at least put them like this because they're dirty in other people's hands. So I'm going to maybe even take take the color off of them and make them black because I'm trying to designate it so when the reader is reading that they're important and what what these these utensils are. So maybe I better put yeah, maybe I better leave the color on there. I use all capital letters in purple bold as words for our creator or his prophecies or pretty much um meaning came from him uh directly. Uh, so and what it means by utensils here is that the priest that stands outside the fence in the order that the tribes were born, three in the south, three in the east, three in the west, and three in the north. And you can see here by this map, they actually divided the land the same way. Okay, all right, this would have been um, Levites, but they didn't give them the Levites that. So, but the object is, is that they had knives and like a fork uh, to be able to, first they needed to kill the animal. <laughs> the goat or the ram and then take the hide off and then remove the muscles. So they would use a, like a fork in this knife to do this. And then they would put it on a platter or a, a plate. And this is what is known as utensils and they are gold and silver. To bring in, I will put his mean in our creator, but I'm going to not put it him as bold. They, they didn't. He what? They weren't going to respect him. So, to bring in, because the writer who is writing this would have noted that way. So I'm trying to put the text into first person here. He gave orders to bring in his gold and silver utensils. Now, what I'm trying to do is where is this text going? Because that is a good three verse before it breaks into something else. And I don't see this as being important because right now it's the utensil. He held a feast for 40 richers. And he had given. <laughs> mm. to not bring but to use
my nose is going to run here, so let me uh, put a covering here for a second. Bells are the king. He was going to have a feast. To hold a dinner. Well, I guess it would have been with all kinds. Okay, I, I guess I can feast, but but Belzar the king. Held a f feast for 40 Richards and he had given orders to use his gold and silver utensils. Okay, I don't need any of this. But that sounds like this and this are going to group together and then I'm going to have the next group here. Now this is going to say where these utensils come from. Which Nebuchadnezzar which his father we don't need this now if it's his father okay now that means that he's not king and it would be our prince then now I have to say it's his prince because if I'm, and this means that he's not, the king isn't dead because way down here at the end of the story, um, way down at the end of the story, way down here, uh, the king was slain, Belzar, okay? Um, and he wasn't Chaldean, he's going to be the prince. And the king was killed, okay? And they would have been killed by our creator. So, because all this is, all this what's going to happen is, um, hopefully within that same night. So, maybe, um, this is, I'm sorry, I just spotted your uh, comment. This is Daniel's text, and I'm looking for the hidden formats that are in chapter 5 right now. Um, and I'm explaining my reasoning for editing the text. Uh, this, if I take you all the way up here and blow this up a little bit, this is what happens when I find these. This first sentence is a really a statement, and these two are going to connect together to make the next uh, understanding of this statement. This will become a paragraph. This repeats again, but the only thing is, is these become actually like one large paragraph. I put two spaces through and it repeats. And by doing this, 
All these have been found through Daniel. Now, some text has been lost. The ones that I understand the text and read it, I add words that I'm saying these are the best words I know that I can choose to say that's what the text is actually saying. And then the story goes together. And it's easier to read, it's easier to understand, and it's the first writer's formats. Because I could not actually um, create these on my own, okay? The text itself tells me if they're in the right order or not as well by this learning that this is a statement and these go together. So that's what I'm doing. Now, why am I, what, what I am proving is that the text was first here and then evil men are overwriting the text and writing it to corrupt it for their God. In my intros, I show people the 1611 preface. These are their own words, the translator's words. And if you notice, they have the guts to put in Gregory is the divine. And down here, the first Roman emperor corrected the calendar and the order according to the course of the sun, and they capitalized the letter S for sun. This is the sun god Ra, and there's an Egyptian obelisk in the front yard, in the courtyard of the Vatican. Now, they tell you that the, lastly, the end and the reward for the study thereof, which means it's the following text, the Bible, is to have a fellowship with the saints and a participation of the heavenly nature. Not to, in the fruitation and inheritance and mortal undivided, and they'll never fade away. That is not saying you're going to heaven, okay? That's what I'm proving. Now, I also give a couple of examples of how corrupt the text is. If people actually took their time and studied the text, they would have found out in Exodus 21 through 17, there are 12 commandments. Now, when I ask people what a sin is, they don't know. They have a hard time describing it. They make up all kinds of things. But our Creator defined these 12, if you did not obey them, you are to bring a sin offering. So these are sins. These are the 12 sins, only sins, and he only made them sins at this time. So from this time forward in the Sinai, there are sins. If people pay attention in uh, Exodus 26, they have always had the word bars in the text, but if you replace it with arches, we now have the revealing of his tent roof is what it looked like. And I'm sure if you've seen some of the tent, that it would hang over on both sides. Well, now that, that those measurements, 10, 10, 10, you will find that it was measured out to be 30 by 30 square. Uh, was the roof hide made from goat skin. Now the goat skins are white. The ram skin or sheep skin is white. So now you know what the roof looks like and the true color of the tent for meeting with our creator. If you have any other questions, it might take me a minute to spot the, your text but or your uh, comment, but right now I'm trying to um, find these formats in, in uh, the correct order how it would be said so you can see that these are not being said in correct order. They're like stuck in the middle. Now I've got to find another two group segment like this from the text and I'm thinking that this is the subject changing here so it has to be within here. So, when I just corrected this here word, our, it has to be prince. Okay, so 
What I'm going to do though is I'm going to say I'm not sure. So I'll make it uh, like the other colors that I've been highlighting on things that I'm not sure of until I look at it later. But right now, if it's his father uh, and they don't mention that he's dead, his father is alive. So he is still king until he dies. So, or he has actually hand over the throne, but he is still considered a king. Um, now, if you understand Daniel, Daniel's text is very much of our creator revealing himself and making himself known as the creator of everything. And uh, the text above uh, Nebuchadnezzar, uh, after he gets done eating grass, he does agree that our creator can do whatever he wants to do, and he is the creator. So, um, knowing that, and knowing the story there, in this story, uh, it's going to be talking about again later that this guy is his son. So, just to put things into context. Now, which his father had taken out of the house, a temple is a place where they keep false idols. His house is where he met with them. Okay? And this because it's destroyed, I won't put it in uh, bold letters, but to meaning that it was his house. The word temple is a place they put false gods, an idol of them. The word house is correct. Taken out of whose house? His house. out of his house in Jerusalem, period. Which his father, statement, had taken out, comma, of his house in Jerusalem. And that's how the text finds itself. Now, in order that the king and his nobles and they aren't his, per se. They're, they're subject, but these are known as, I named them as the richers, the ones that had the money that could do these extra things. Richers and their wives and notice how they left it as his wives like the richers and then it's his wife and not their wives that we need to know that the richers are couples or even single men and his wife in order and it's not eat from them or not drink they're eating on the it's the fork it's the knife it's the plate that are made out the silver is the knife the gold would be the plate the fork would probably be silver so and it has to be eat. They didn't drink from the utensils. And it's not that they might, they did. So, in order and this them is actually his utensils. 
So I have to represent them like that. But is that like a subject? Because if you're noticing here, I'm trying to use one major word and another major word with the least amount of text to connect those together. So that's what I'm looking for here. Now, in order that in order that the key not in order um, it given orders um Now, what am I, I'm trying to think of how this is going to go. Um, because if I keep it as his wives and many wives, um, eat from them. And I would put utensils here to be correct. That would get out and take the word them out and put in utensils and what I'm going to do is because I'm pretty much making this word my own I'm going to use it as I did make it and we know what they are to eat from his utensils now In order King and his wife with the Richards. And then at least I've got um, this being said. This is I've had to add. This I've had to add. This is, but I'm getting rid of this. But yet I'm only using being able to use one one of them. In order that this would be R. And I'm going to go and grab this. And put it here. That's going to be a period for a statement. So I forgot to check my mic to make sure that's working. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't work. But in order that the, that our, in order that, in order that our prince and his wife and no and his wife with the richers yeah that's eat from his utensils okay now that's the Yep, that's the second group. So this has got to be the next two groups. But I've already said all this. So this doesn't need to be reset. We already know what they are. So redundancy of text I just throw out. And you'll be surprised how often the story reads like it doesn't need it. And it reads just like as if it was not needed. I need the word as they drink. 
need it as. As they drink wine, as they eat and drink, we know they're going to be drinking wine, so we don't need this as they ate and drank, because they have to be using utensils. We don't need the servants taking them out and they're just sitting around drinking, or yeah, drinking. So as they ate and drank, they they praised their gods. Now, the Daniel seems to be pretty much written in Aramaic, and this is the Aramaic title uh, for the word God, and just add S on it. So I will now remove the boldness and put it down like this, and this is I'm removing. But later, if somebody wants to go back and check where all these are at and what this is, um, it's there for them to see. Um, as they praise their gods, made but they're overlaid with gold and silver and bronze. So they made them of wood first made from wood and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say like this and then take the word wood copy it here make it smaller say I'm I use that as my key to say I'm just moving that word down here by highlighting it in yellow now that becomes that part then overlaid with, now I've added this word, so that needs like this, this overlaid with gold statement, or silver, not both, they could have, but I'm looking for this. I need overlaid with gold. I don't need this. It seems that it's going to be gold, bronze, iron, and gems. Not stones. Stones are just common things off the ground. These are richers, so they got to have theirs are a little bit better. I don't know if iron, made of iron, they would have. Unless they had a god of might or god of war, they would have had, that would have been a stronger metal. So I guess, I guess iron would have to be there. Now, that becomes another two-verse grouping. Suddenly the fingers of a hand emerged and began writing. Suddenly fingers 
of a hand emerged, comma, and began writing. Above their lampstand, not opposite, because you don't know what the lampstand is. The lamps would have been along the walls, okay, to light it. So now we know that actually this would have been later in the day. This would have been evening time that this happened. So I have to remember this as I'm going through that it, it has to be the next day or something like that that uh, uh, Daniel is called in. So, or it's still late at night. It would be over the lampstands. Because opposite, you're going to remember, there's a lot of people eating. So these, this has got to be a well-lit area. So now you have the size of this banquet hall. And you have the size of, of un the understanding how it was lit. Now could they had them lit and hung over? And this would have been above, not over. Above the lamps. On the plastered wall. Whoa. Now this is of the king's palace and that's not right. This is a banquet room, plastered wall. Now I'm saying that because where is those words down here? You might have seen it, I didn't. Sorry for the scrolling, but it does. Okay, I'm going to have to do room and just see if I can find it that way. No. Ah, uh, now I remember it was hall. Oh, there it is. Banquet hall. But it's got to be a banquet room. Now let me go up here on the plastered wall of the banquet room, period. And that I've had to add completely, but it's better, it's more correct than this. So I'll do it like that to show that that's okay. Now this is the two together. Now the king and the prince saw the back of the hand that did the writing. Okay, so it would have been opposite of him 
that would have been that's why the word is opposite here but it's got to be above the lamps anyway on the plastered wall of the banquet room And the prints You've got to, every time that's going to happen, it's going to happen probably quite a bit. Because I don't really know if he is designated as the king or if he's just the prince. So, and our prince saw what did he see. That's the statement. The back of the hand. That did the writing. That done the writing. That done. A writing, not the writing, a writing. Now that's not good. Because I now know that there's going to be text missing. For the simple fact, there has to be something, just like you see here and above and what I've been doing. There has to be... Uh, what the writing is right here. This is what's missing is the words that were written. And you're going to see that this is a long statement. But what's funny is there's only going to be like three words <laughs> that there are three or four words that are going to be used. Because here, um, this seems to be all one subject, and then another subject. I could put then his face. and not need this then his face now what about his face it grew pale and his thoughts alarmed him his hip joints went slack now see this is a comma and then a period. And his knees began, comma, period. So this is a four verse grouping. King saw, I found them right here. And these are wrong. These are not needed. Because this is a four verse, I'm going to note it as a four verse. And then four verses don't belong. And I can't make a three verse out of it. This actually connects together, so this is wrong. Now, not to say this is not true, but a lot of people don't know this, that when your hip joints go slack... And your knees begin knocking, and they're not together. Your knees start shaking, and you're going to collapse. This happened to me. I just happened to be near a uh, chair, and I literally fell into the chair. That's what happened to me. So I know the experience of this. So don't sit there and say these are not true words. They are true words. I just don't know where these four go together because I only have one more four verse and that's um, 
above, and actually there's six sentences, this and like two more, but um, don't know where they went um, or where they're coming from either. Called aloud is to shout. King, whoops. Our, oh, let me get rid of this. Our prince shouted. Now, there is an order of these people. A diviner talks about gods. A conjurer talks to the dead. And a uh, sorcerer or a magician is one who mixes chemicals together to make things happen like magic. To bring in... So I have to bring the word diviners first because they are in the correct order as of importance. Bring in the diviners. Yellow. And to bring in I have to put the word the here. And I'll take it out here and say I put it there. And now I'm going to put comma, conjures, don't need this, and now I know I have that above. I just don't want to go look for it, but they, his father called him in. They aren't Chaldeans. Chaldeans are the ones that actually live below the Euphrates River. They're in a different land location altogether. So what I do have here is um, this is not needed. And the prince, or king, he's, what's he doing here? He's telling them. He's not demanding them. It would, that would be presented differently. So he's asking, right? Our prince asked, no, told, no, told, this is not a question, told, now I can put the word them, and we know who they're talking about here, so, Told them. Our prince told them any male, comma. Who can read period this not inscription, this writing writing period. And this this writing
to explain its meaning. To me. So now I've got something wrong here. And when I glanced up, I can see that this is the statement. This is what's being said. Who can read this writing and explain its meaning to me? That is a group. This is a different subject. So, I'm going to have to use this. That's on. Then the king told. The wise men any male but now it's almost like this is becoming a four verse. Any male who can read this inscription and meaning. So this almost is like a four verse here. I'm trying to figure it out. My little mind is going crazy here because I am trying to come up with something in my head that does, because this is starting to bug me that it's three. Any male who can read this expression. Because my third, was my I'm not sure if that's right either, but I'm going to leave it there. Have a necklace of gold. And around his neck, that's what a necklace describes, so necklace of gold. Have a neck be clothed. They have a purple robe. It has to be a purple robe. It just I mean the uh, it's to designate his authority, in other words. But the only thing I can think of is the word robe, period. Will wear. Will wear. A robe, clothe, this would be the same thing as what I'm searching for is the word robe, 
robe. So now it's purple. Usually purple represents a king's authority. So here I'm going to use the period. And I left that off. It was supposed to be like that. So it's not this, it's this. This is this, this is the answer here. Very much like a word puzzle. We'll wear a robe and with with a necklace of gold. To have, or to show, or to recognize, to have authority as my third. Now, when I'm now, the funny thing is, the word third is there. King, Prince, Third. Get it? Okay. Just to say that I know that I'm trying to still work with the word uh, King and Prince. This means his father was elderly at this time when this happened in the storyline. So this has to happen this way. So this in the kingdom doesn't mean anything. But being Third Ruler... It would be the third, king, prince, third, okay. We'll have authority as, and it isn't my, as third. As the third, okay. Now I've got that. This is going to be a double space here. Now to bring in the contours and divider. And told. And told. I'm going to put them back here. Them. Any male who can read and not use any of this. Now that becomes pretty much a good because that goes together like this. And now this is going to be the reading and the reward. Okay, and that reads like that. So this Read this writing. Watch this. By the hand I saw. Because that is mentioned what he did above it. So I'm pretty sure that this could be this and this is going to be from our creator so this is all text that i'm going to be adding this writing by the hand i saw and explain its meaning to me that sounds like it belongs don't it okay um now that groups this groups now I gotta find another group here. Now here, they couldn't come in. They already are in. He told them.
inscription I made wrote the word writing. So let me keep that together. And since it's a group, and all the Y's I'm going to put them as wiser wisers and that's how you invent a word <laughs> but wisers Let's see if that's actually uh, in our vocabulary, or at least, nope. <laughs> so, that's how you invent, that's how you know that the word existed thousands of years ago. That all the wisers, who came in, Could not read the writing or make known its meaning to the king. I know I make it look easy sometimes, but after 30 years of doing this, there it is. Now, did I have two spaces there, one space here, and then now it's going to be two spaces here. Now this... is not needed. We've already got pretty much all this text above, so no sense reprint. Now see, if the queen came in and she wasn't at the banquet, that reinforces again the meaning that when I keep putting in prints, I'm going to make that call right now that I'm right by using the word prints. He was trying to establish himself with the next group coming in, or as his father was aging, because she should have been eating with him. If he's the king, he should have been eating with him. So now we know that this is truly a prince, his son. Okay? That's how that is. Def I, I've come across it a couple times, but now with the queen entering, then our, because you've got to write it in first person, our queen, then our queen entered. The banquet hall, the banquet room, because of his, because of his what? Um, in words is good, but it's not the best. It's because of his action, his, his summoning, because of his some 
summoning. He summoned them. And since she would have heard that through her aides, that the word went out, go grab them. So these have to be the ones closest to the palace as well. So now you have, because if this is all happening really quick, because if she's now coming into the room, we now know that this banquet might have had windows above the, along the walls and the lamps were there, but they weren't lit. I'm trying to make sense of everything, so I've got the text written the way the visual should be in your head when you read the text correctly. Because now if she's coming in, this is maybe later in the afternoon, 4 o'clock-ish, our time. Um... And these wise men have to be located right there in the city. And the prince would have told his guards, or told the guards, and the guards wouldn't got other guards to go round them up and bring them back immediately. Okay. Um, because a lot of this you have to read and understand what's happening around the text. That's why I said these these are grouped together to have more than just what they mean. But they didn't have abundance of paper back then. And it was to keep it as uh, correct, truthful, and short as possible. Because of his summoning, she would have been hearing about the excitement of people being brought in, um, or the commotion of what's going on. And our Our queen said to him, period. I don't think that I need this. Um, live forever and your paleness it doesn't last that long especially after you've been summoned so that wouldn't have been said so our queen said to him do not let your thoughts alarm you period and because I've got now that's the queen speaking. Now he's now it's got to be the next group. Okay. There is a male. Don't want to use the secular word man here. There is a male. Um, there is a male in our kingdom who, in the days of your father, Why is this this is gonna take a little bit of work here? And I'm what hour 
15 minutes in. So where is the text here? Um, there is a mail. Now here it's in the days of your father. That would mean he's passed and only the queen is around. And now it means it's back that he is a, the king. Then our queen mother. No. I, 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 if she's the queen mother, it, ha it would have to be mentioned that way. So it this has to be out then. There is a male. And he's not going to be dead, so this has to be out. This can be saved. Your father found. And that's kind of overstating it because Daniel came forward. But. Your father found that your father knows. Put him in, put him as he's alive, that he's still around, but he's aging. Who your father knows. as who is not and he doesn't have the insight he is given knowledge he is given wisdom the wisdom from his god Okay. Knows your father. And has been given. Wisdom. And this is coming from our creator. Let me get rid of the red right now. Because I'm adding this. And she would know that it's our creator. Your father knows he has been given wisdom. Now, do I say it like the the wisdom of the not of the gods, but and he would it's they would all know our creator's name by now because, like I said, they're actually living under our creator's calendar at this time, and he's already des designated that he knows who our the creator of creator or god of god is, is. so. I have no problem putting his name in here.
wisdom of, wisdom from, YV. has been given wisdom. And is wisdom from Wavy, okay. It took a little bit to get there because I didn't want to connect. Every time I was thinking, I was trying to, it was connecting, and I didn't want him to connect. His wisdom from YV. Your father actually appointed him as his own special counselor. Uh, so if he's king's not needed, then, and your father appointed him, comma, is chief, top, you know, number one. Wiseman. Chief wisest? <laughs> The, his chief wisest, his chief I'm going to just use wise men as all one word his chief of wise men And I guess I better put a hyphen here. And these don't need them. Okay. So now that is now a double space again to be cleaned up. And if I'm going to go another hour and a half, am I going to be able to get through all this today? Oh man, to get to 31. Okay. I'm only going to get, I guess, relabel this as part 5A. Um, but this is already done. This, these are the tell this fuchsia color words. Those are words added in 1977 NSA text. So, not every word is true. They added these they on their own. Um, as you can see, I'm removing them, so they're not true. Because Because he has this knowledge, because because he is given
This is given. The the knowledge to explain. dreams and I'm seeing difficult problems here and dreams in problems This I have two spaces, okay. Better put that up there and no, that's dreams in. I've already explained, so this is not needed. Explain dreams to solve them. of dreams. I need the word two here. To solve them. This don't need, it's just a restatement of fact. Hmm. Whom he trusted is what I'm seeing here. Dreams to solve them because he was given knowledge. He trusted him, whom he trusted, whom he trusted. Whom he trusted. Let him Yeah, you know, let him just replace him. Let him be summoned. See, they know they use the word summon as well. That's what a king does. To whoops, to declare the meaning. Period. That was a little bit rough to start with.
Okay, now that would mean now these two have to come together. Then Daniel was be brought before him. And said to Daniel, Are you now? This we already know who Daniel is in the story. If the queen knew about him. And just because he's a different race than uh, those uh, in Babylon, they would immediately know he wasn't one of them. So this, I'm not sure, needs to be said at all. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then get down to here. I have heard about you. Now, he might have even seen him, so. But I've got to use this. I have heard about you. Because if it's double space here, I only need three lines out of this. Is that going to be okay? I have heard about you. There's one. Now, how do I match this out of these? That. You have extraordinary wisdom. I use that, and it hasn't been found in him. So. This would have to be to have extraordinary wisdom. And this would be he knows our creator's name. Is not in you. I've heard about you. In the name YV, for you to have extraordinary wisdom. I'm going to say name. And the Uh, and the name YV and the God YV
in this means I need to add this, not that it's there. And your God wiping and your your God wivy. And I will put a capital G here then. Your God wivy. For you to have extraordinary wisdom. Okay. I think I got that now. You got to remember, a Hebrew is writing this, one who knows these things. So to have, I have heard about you and your God wivy for you to have extraordinary you have extra wisdom. You don't need the extra on the end of this. Extra wisdom. Okay. Uh, it's also it's special, I guess. Special Special Wisdom Just now the wise men The wise men were brought before me I'm just making sure that this is now the next group. Uh, just now the wise men were brought in before me. To read. Not that they might. He summoned them to do this. To read. This. To read that, and he would have pointed with his hand when he said it, that writing, period, and make known its meaning. Um, uh, make known its meaning make I need maybe this is the right word to read that writing and make it known to be but they could not Explain it. They could not that they could not I'm looking for one more word here. They could not the 
for to make it known to me that they could not declare it, I guess. I guess I'm just going to use the word declare it. Okay. Now here's all this text that's been said. But that is only up to here. Then it's like from here, he's explaining what's going to happen. If you are able to read and explain it, if you are able if I use that as a statement if you are able notes he's already told them what he wants done he wants them to read it and make it known to him but they couldn't but if you are able so I don't need this don't need this. You will have, you will. And clothed, I said war, didn't I? War, and before I had it, um, see that this is where uh, I'm going to put it here. Now, David, who or Daniel, would know that where a necklace means. Don't need this. Now by the having the necklace, you know it's around the neck. To who have authority as the third and that's how i put it in there before so that's good we now know what it is as third it's still the it's the prince now telling him again after him he's the third so that's one that's two now this becomes the next one okay Then Daniel replied, didn't answer, but replied. Replied and said, I, you know, they do that so many times, it's not funny. So then Daniel replied, period. And he's, we already know he's before me, standing right there talking to him. Keep your gifts. Keep your gifts. This and this are tying together, but that isn't that is an answer.
Then he relied. And if I say, let my prince And then I now this keep your gift and reward. Reward period. Don't need this. However, I will read the writing And I'm trying to think here if this verse is going to go this way and and not use the word however. Say, I will read the writing. Do you. Period. and make its meaning to make it known to you. I will read the writing I'll read the writing to you and make it known Or it is from is from the To him, he needs to be told it's from the highest God. This is a title to our Creator, and Daniel would be speaking it that way to him, from the highest God.
to uh, who granted authority authority and glory and majesty glory and greatness Glory and greatness to Nebuchadnezzar, your father. And he's still alive here. Okay, well, maybe not. Now, that is another group. And I haven't gone two hours yet, so that's good. And because of the grandeur he bestowed on him, all the people's names lay in fear and trembled before him. Whomever he wished, he killed whomever he wanted and spared his life. Now, this is a lot of extra text that might not be needed. Who granted authority and glory and greatness to your father. And then he's just telling about his father. He had known about his father. So I don't think we need this. It's not meaningful enough for us to know that now. Now this, he has got to continue with the story though. But when his heart became so proud he behaved arrogantly. Now his glory was taken away from him. And then this is going to describe that. So, and he was removed. Then he was removed. Then he was removed. from his throne and his glory was taken then he was removed from his throne and his glory was taken. Or he was I was going to, I'm going to say cast aside. And that's the end of that.
And then this here and this here go together. So this has to be two spaces. His glory was taken, for he was cast aside. This is not needed. His heart was made. He lived, since we know the story and we're shortening it up, he lived, and I guess I'm adding this word, so, oops, he lived like A beast. And placed in his garden. Remember, a lot of people can't, can't be seeing him, otherwise they'd want a new king. So this is the only hiding place within his palace I can see that would be true. He was placed, and he was placed in his garden to eat like... I put deer there last time, so I'll put a deer here this time. And a deer is pretty peaceful, by the way, so it's kind of like it wasn't making them a full-on beast beast. It was placed in his garden to eat like a deer. His body was drenched. Now that is absolutely not, that's not a statement, it's, that's like that. This has to be, until it has to be after, after. So this is not going to be there, and I've got two space so it's this there. Eat like a grass, and then this uh, after this. Now this is coming from our crater, so it's got to be like this. After this. He, not recognized, he knew he knew Don't need this. 
And he's going to tell them, since we, I'm adding it correctly, let me put it here. And a new YV, comma, And I'm going to use this because I'm looking for, because this seems to be the end of the statement here. And so I've got to acknowledge that and say after this, he knew the highest. And I'm going to use this as a little letter because they think it's God's, but there's no, not. And here I'm going to say, clean it up and add. Is. No, I didn't have it connected. Is wifey. He is the ruler and he is the ruler of everything And he sets the kings. He sets rulers. Whomever he wants.
a crater does not wish again just in case you missed it on the the other video this is not needed he is the ruler of everything and he sets the rulers and he sets up And he sets up rulers. Whomever he wants. Okay. Now. Yet you, his son, have not humbled your heart. By knowing all of this, Yet you, his son, period, have not humbled your heart by knowing this. But you have exalted yourself. He didn't exalt himself. He dishonored our creator by not acknowledging him. But you let them exalt their gods. But you let them exalt your guards. That's this down here. So this is. Mm. He doesn't need to repeat this. That they can't hear, they can't understand. That isn't true. This could be used. to be against against and I'm going to put all his name comma It begins YV.
this is not needed. This is the beginning of the statement. When I'm looking through the text, I can see that this is not needed. And before I take it all out, let me put it put it back. Um, watch how I'm doing this. Because to be against YV, you... You brought in, brought in his, whoops, his, whoops, something happened there, his utensils. Um, uh, um, you raised your gods okay now that's means this here is all out But that's the second part of this. Right, yep, I gotta space this, this. So this I don't need here. Then a hand. and was sent from him In a hand, if I put a period here and go like this, sent from him in a hand. was sent from him. And you saw this. And you saw this.
written before you Damn. Written before you. It's kind of out, but I wanted to, I guess I should just do this. I'm replacing the word out to be more exact. No, oh, this has to be two. Then his hand was sent from him, and you saw this written before you. Now this is written out says And whatever the hell you want to say, okay, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, this is just, well, this written out says, um, This is his message to you. Okay. He has numbered your days. Numbered your days. Mm. I put an ending to you. To yours because it's been talking about kingdoms here and bestowing a kingdom so if he's the prince it's to put an end to yours Mm-hmm. 
Okay, now if this is... Yep, I got two, so this is, should be two. So that is two. And given, and given, to the Persians, period. Your kingdom. has been divided and given to the Persians. Now, oh, how is that? This, I can't use any of this. Yeah. Has been means will be Influences. Your kingdom will be, and this is a subject as a major word, so I better put it together like that, will be divided and given to the Medes and Persians. But that isn't true. Because it's got to be one. It's got. It can't be two. Because remember the story above the statue that Nebuchadnezzar was given to seen in Iraq to crush. There's three kingdoms, not four, but there's three kingdoms. So we have to have Babylon. Then we have to have Persians, and we have to have Romans. So, over to the Persians. To be given, to be ruled, to be ruled by the Persians. And, but this is all capital letters. I just can't use the word over to be ruled by the Persians. Okay, now let me see, 40, oh. Yeah, this is getting too long. I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit quicker. I don't like making the video too long because YouTube doesn't allow me to download it if it's too big and I upload it. So there's a lot of work that I got to do here, but I'm going to just keep going here. Hey, how you doing? 
Yep, I'm still at it. But I'm, I'm trying to finish this text up right here to make it less than three hours of a video. So uh, this is the prince, Nebuchadnezzar's son, who just got done getting the writing on the wall. And Daniel just got done explaining what it is. So I'm glad you stopped by again. Um, the, then, I, since I'm the editor, I get to shorten his name down. Belzar <laughs> gave orders. This needs to be a period. And it's still a three-verse format. To not clothe, but to wear... But to wear, let's see, if he's wearing, to wear, I'm going to, instead of purple, it's got to be the word robe, because a robe would designate his importance. So I get rid of that, I get rid of that, add this, I see you posted something here, so, and... And a necklace of gold. Whoops. This is going to be the end. You have a deadline tomorrow. What's going on? Then he... So you're working while you're listening to me. Okay. I, I think I figured that out. So you're working on something there. and need some entertainment off to the side. Your kingdom will be divided and given to be ruled by the Persians. Then Belzar gave orders to wear a robe for gave orders to wear a robe. Oh, PhD. That's good. That's good. It, it, I know it isn't easy. My brother uh, has a PhD in polymers, and he was one of the first um, graduating class of the first 25 that ever got that degree back in the early 80s. So a chemical engineering degree and then a PhD in chemical polymers or something. So, yeah, I listened to his struggles and the time you have to put into it. But depends on what kind of degree you get. And I'll give you a hint. If it's a really sophisticated degree, PhD, like in chemical engineering or something, uh, after you get your degree, call up NASA and just tell them what your degree is. And if uh, I have a experiment to perform or need to have performed in space, uh, I'd like to be able to get a hold of you later. They will actually come back and say, okay, they, they will get back with you. Um, so, because my brother did that and he did it for kicks, <laughs> and they t they the first one time they told him uh, no, and then I guess within an hour somebody called him and said no wait a second we understand what kind of degree you just got no we will do whatever you want to do just let us know, so, but he let the other guys that he graduated with know the same thing so but just uh have that to be able to say in your work in your uh resume going to another place or you know yeah, whatever you apply with doing philosophy is so it's not super intense okay philosophy 
Okay. <laughs> uh, well, when you have an understanding of that the hidden formats are actually declaring men witnessing our Creator's actions with them, um, you can't really say it's a, it's, this will all be used as a, how would I put it? Because, uh, anyways, I get going here. Then Belzar ordered, gave orders to, well, for him to wear a robe. No. This has to be the start of the next one. And a necklace of gold. And issue a decree. Oops. Issue a decree. that he had authority as the third. And what this third means here, whoops, 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 get back here. Um, and that's how I figured out that, uh, come on now. Three RD period, get rid of that. Bring that. Okay, now I get third was uh, because we I decided that this Belzar started out as a king, but as the text went through, uh, he became the prince, and then the word third means the king's still alive. Then the prince has the authority, and now he's made his third ruler. And this is. Daniel. So it's kind of cool to see that uh, that text is there. Um, and it's it's got that same night now. This means it has to be an afternoon lunch feast that they were at, that he held, and not a late evening dinner to, for all this action that happened to happen in the same night. So, so I'm going to put it differently. I'm going to put it as the next day 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 Bells are our prince and our And our king, I'll just say died, not slain because of it. Because if I put slain, there is no story here of how they were slain. 
So it has to be they just died. His dad probably from old age, and our creator probably gave Belzar a, a heart attack thinking about everything. <laughs> and and then it was, it can't be so. It has to be then. Then Darius. And right now, Darius has to be a, a little d here. Received the kingdom. Received. Is there a better word than received? Um, then Darius received the kingdom. At, I don't need this. Got to make this equally at. And to actually write it the way the Hebrews would write it would be six tens, meaning 60 years old. And he wasn't 62. Just like that. They give him two more years. Whoops. But. And Darius, I believe, has to be the brother of Nebuchadnezzar just to be able to receive it just like that. So. I'm going to now grab all of 15 or chapter 5. Ooh, whoa. Grab that, bring that so I don't erase it. Oops, I didn't pull it out yet. Bring up this. Nope. Go back. No, nope, that's only two. Let me slide it all the way down to the end. And put it right here where it belongs. So far, the whole story does sound like it's in order. And that keeps shocking me that everything seems to be in order um, right now. Because whatever I find next, we don't have Daniel in the lion's den yet. So that has to be under King Darius that it has to happen. So that does sound like that would be uh, the next text. So, invented a new word richer, I think. And this needs two space. I'm going to need to grab one of them while I'm doing this. But... This is what the text is looking like right now of what I just cleaned up. So then there has to be two. Silver, double space, bronze, iron, and gems on them. Then this is two. This has to be two. And this is his face going crazy. And then he shouted to go get the diviners, conjurers, and I, I and I don't know who uh, right now. I know I I know I know I will find it. But 
Let's do this. This and this is our D, and then two of those. And that's looking like that's going to be the answer. Or is, whoops, there it is. But again, there is no text missing as the story here in this one. This is pretty good. I might, I think I might have had one verse didn't show up. But I think I plugged that hole with what I knew. So then this has to be two, this has to be one, this has to be one, 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 two, yep, one. Two. It says, two, yep, there's two there. But I've got to bring it down so I can make sure that this is all connecting here. And this would be one. Now I bring it back up here. Oops, one's too far. Now this has to be a space there. And I'm gonna to have to reread it just to make sure, but that'll be to noted in the next video because I've got chapter six to do next. That's two. This has to be a space. This has to be one here. Well, I did more than I thought I was going to do today. This is two. Now it looks like I might have something missing here. Let me just see. Yeah, real good, because it does fit like that. Beautiful. Uh oh, no, it's not. Because this is a better grouping here as a divider. So I got to go up here and find out what I did or what's missing here. If that was written before him, you're praising your God. Probably something right here would be you were laughing and drinking and really having a good time. So I will put it right here that this is missing. Okay. 
and then grab Okay, then this is grouped. This is grouped right. This is grouped right. Yep, and the, yes, the rest of it grouped together. I did find a group missing when I found the format here. But very cool, very cool. Look at that, just... And I'm gonna say, I'm gonna make that mine, so it's gotta be black now. I'm just scanning with my eyes to see if I got all the little commas and periods in. But I guess you can also take screenshots of that and then, okay, there it is, all done for today. Got to go. Um, thanks for stopping by and thanks for listening, Robin Goodfellow. I will hopefully see you again. Maybe we got time to talk a little bit longer. Have a good day.